me so close And I was gonna take a trip in the world But I can love you Yeah, I'm gonna love you I'll give you the world of what I've got The fancy finds, baby, I have not Alright you guys, what is happening? Um, I am currently having Brian work on the beta since you guys last saw. Um, the bike sort of blew up to this day. We still don't really know what happened. If you guys saw my Instagram video, I basically went through the carb. Took the carburetor out and we cleaned it a hundred times. We cleaned it with an ultrasonic cleaner and then we replaced all the jets. We replaced everything that you could possibly replace on a carburetor and put it in and took it out and it just would not start. It would start the first time and then it basically wouldn't start after that and it wouldn't even stay on the first time. You'd have to hold the throttle but the moment you let it off, even with the choke on, it would just die and then it wouldn't start anymore. I have Brian over here. Um, we ordered a Electron carburetor. We're just gonna uh, include some clips of Brian um, putting in the Electron so that uh, you guys can see. this morning we tried to start the bike with the new electron in and it did not work we called up Cade at Casey power source which is the beta dealer here in San Juan I brought the bike here to him and I said hey like I'm gonna be riding this week and I really need your help because I cannot figure it out Okay, Brian, what is happening here right now? It's running. And I bet you guys are all dying to know exactly what it was that was wrong. It was the freaking spark plug. It was just a bad three spark plugs. Three of them that I used. All of them just did not work. So you see, this is sort of the issue that we ran into is it would start, it would run fine, you shut it off, and then it won't start again. We have a lot more to, to figure out. Ugh. Hours later, it's official. We have figured out the problem. It's the compression. So we are on our way home. We have successfully diagnosed the problem. The compression was too low. It was pinging at 48 PSI instead of where it should be, which is almost 150. So we're gonna go back home. We're gonna replace the base gasket and then order the new piston rings and hopefully that will be the final, final time that we touch this bike and then there will be no more problems ever again. Okay, so here we are. Bad news bears, there's not gonna be any more videos coming for a long time again because what ended up happening is we checked for the compression and this is the piston. Fuck me, right? So we're gonna need to rebuild the bottom end and the top end, which is basically buying a whole new motor. It's gonna be a little while longer, guys. <laughs> it really bums me out because it's literally riding season right now and I just, this is just the worst thing that could possibly happen. Wish me luck because, you know, after we rebuild everything, there should be no more problems. I be that young rapping dude, might just trap with you. Coming with the thunder, baby, might just clap it through. I 